On behalf of TVLesson.com, my name is Eric Roman, otherwise known as DJ Empire. Let's talk a little bit about choosing DJ equipment. Uh, many DJs, when they're first starting, think they have to have the most cutting edge equipment with the bells and whistles that they'll probably never use. My personal equipment at home is very simple, very basic, no features, it's just two CD players and a mixer. Uh, as a DJ, when you first start off, don't go and throw out tens of thousands of dollars on your first setup. You don't know if you're going to enjoy it. You don't know if that equipment is right for you. Go out, do your research, make sure that you're picking equipment that will suit your needs at first. If you go in and buy the top of the line everything, it's, you're probably never going to use some of the features. So as you progress as a, a DJ, it's better to let your equipment grow with you instead of you growing into your equipment. Uh, for me at home, like I said, I use the most basic equipment. In the nightclubs, I use the highest end equipment, DVD players, video mixers. Uh, when, I, when I work for private parties, no frills, no features. I just keep it basic so I don't confuse myself. DJ equipment can be very intimidating with all the knobs and buttons and it looks pretty but sometimes it's absolutely useful. So you want to make sure that when you go buy equipment you're saving yourself money so you can go buy yourself more music because the equipment is all the same uh, essentially. It's your music that's going to set you apart. So when choosing your equipment be sure that you start off with the needs, the basics. Uh, you don't need fancy effects, you don't need anything else because that comes with practice and technique. Once you pick up your technique, you can pick up more uh, higher end equipment. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this has been DJ Empire. Thank you for watching.